Hi there, my name is Nethiam, and today we're playing Pentiment. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you were having a great day. When we last left off, we were doing stuff with <laughs> Marguerite. Sort of learning our way around the town now that things have changed. And, uh, oh. Oh, right! We were going to write letters to uh, our friend. The daughter, presumably, of those two people who were having their child at the end of the uh, Andreas section. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, where to begin? Ah, I should write to Esther. Yes, Esther. <laughs> I remember that. Dearest Esther. Oh, hope you've been well. Autumn has reached us up here in Tassine. Hope you and your family are well. Dad sends his regards to your parents, like usual. Yes, he asked us to do that. I hope you and your family are well. Dad sends his regards to your parents, like usual. I spent the last two days collecting oak galls with Sister Gertrude. Tell me about galls. Galls, a parasitic growth which develop, develops in oak trees caused by wasps laying their eggs under the tree bark. Oak galls were traditionally harvested and distilled into iron ink used in manuscripts. Oh, cool. All right. <laughs> Wild. I don't suppose you have the chance to do that in Prague. No? Why not? Sister Gertrude has been teaching me how to grind them into a smooth ink. Cool. It's difficult work, but you'll find no better ink anywhere in Bavaria. I'll send along a bottle with this letter. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, did I mention? Dad started a new project. He's painting a mural of Tassin's history in our new rat house to memorialize the revolt. Wow. Yep. <laughs> it's going well. It's going, it's going great. The whole thing has me thinking about my own family history. Past, present, and future. Uh, I don't think I want to stay in Tassian forever. Oh, interesting. That's, those are two very different directions. Don't want to stay in Tassian forever. Or, yeah, I do. <laughs> Looking forward to take over the printing shop. I'm 20 now. Okay. Um. Certainly this a life of adventure would be nice to uh, aspire to. Sure, we, sure. <laughs> She's not going to make it out of Tassian, but let's try it anyway. I don't think I want to stay in Tassian forever. It's a quaint place to grow up, but I'm 20 now. Dad says I should take over the shop, but I want to do more with my life. <laughs> not in this game. Not just take over a print shop in some tiny town in the Alps. If I married a master printer, then I could become part of the Printer's Guild. Really? Then I'd be able to spend, send Dad my extra earnings and make a name for myself in one of the cities. Wow, that sounds pretty cool, actually. And yes, before you break the nib off your pen, I will come visit you in Prague, I promise. I'll try to make time to visit before winter. Life has been bustling here. Really? Before winter? That's bold. Okay. Dad's been busy with the Rat House mural, so I've taken over in the workshop. I'm sure it will be a sight to behold once it's finished. Right, right back to me soon. <laughs> All my love, Magda. Cool. Whoa, all right. Cut. Cut to an hour later? Go to bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will. This is my bed. I suppose I could leave. There have been times in the past... Where I, I feel like maybe going outside and checking on stuff would have been a bad, not a bad thing. Bye. But uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to learn anything out here. In the dead of night. Except that Otz is currently still alive. We'll see if that continues to be true later. Bye, Otz. <laughs> All right, let's go to bed. <laughs> Could I have talking to Otz? Of course. It's late. I should get some rest soon. All right, go to sleep. <laughs> the squeaky bed. Kicking the shoes off. Incredible. She wears her little head scarf thingy to bed. Oh, the middle of the night. Oh. Ah! Whoa! Dad? Dad? 
Magdalene. Dad, what's happening? Hang on, I'm coming. What is going on? Oh my God. Dad, wow, this took a turn real quick. Okay, I knew someone was gonna die. I didn't think it was gonna be right this second. Magdalene. What happened? Are you all right? You're bleeding. Someone came into the house. They hit me over the head. I'll go get Dr. Stoltz. Try not to move, Dad. Magdalene, it's not safe. Whoever attacked me. Uh... Yeah, uh... Both are true. <laughs> this wound is too deep for me to take care on take care of on my own. We need Dr. Stoltz. Magdalene, be careful. I will. I'll be right back, I promise. Wow. Okay. Uh What? It certainly didn't take her that long to get Dr. Stoltz, right? Okay, no, this is later. Do you know why anyone would want to attack you, Klaus? No. Maybe someone didn't like one of our, the books I sold them. Are you sure you didn't see a shadow and hit your head on the printing press? <laughs> Thanks, Jorg. Come on, Jorg. You saw the workshop. Somebody was looking for something. A burglar in Tassin? That's preposterous. <laughs> yeah, only two different murderers and some other dude. Probably you, Thomas. Well, if it wasn't an attack, then what was it? Enough. It was a deliberate blow to the head. Unless any of you wish to debate my diagnosis. No, of course not. No. <laughs> As I thought. Truthfully, Klaus, I'm surprised the blow didn't kill you. You have a strong skull. It's a grave injury. Mag Magdalene, you'll need to help take care of your father. Uh, I will. Whatever I need to do. <laughs> Obviously. Good. Of course, the mural will have to be called off now. Oh, isn't that convenient. Whole lot of suspects in this room all of a sudden. Klaus, you absolutely cannot get out of bed. No. No, it has to be done. This is too important. Just give me some time to rest. I'll find a way to make it work. I don't think we need to cancel the entire project. Can we just wait? Klaus, your health comes first. Anyway, we haven't even been able to agree on what the mural should be. Indeed. It might be best to abandon the entire idea. Uh-huh, you would say that. With respect, Father Thomas, you are not on this council. Yes, yes, just offering an opinion. I can paint the mural. Nice. Heck yeah. What? Mags, quit joking around. Well, I know you want to help your dad, but aren't you too young for something this big? <laughs> what, painting? Uh, been painting since before I could walk. I'll have to run the print shop by myself. I'm older than Ots. <laughs> He's on the town council. He doesn't even do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'm older than Otz, and he's on the town council, and he doesn't even do anything. Yes, I do. I, I do plenty for the town. Painting a mural this large and com compl painting a mural this large and complicated will take a lot of skill and expertise. So, <laughs> let's get to the point, fellas. So that's why we were having your dad make it. He's been making art forever. I agree with Paul. Klaus needs home care. You're best suited for that, Magdalene. Not a mural. Wow. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, I think you know, Magdalene. Well, are you sure you're up for it? Physically, I mean. <laughs> oh, painting? It's quite demanding. You'd be up on scaffolding and could fall. <laughs> wow. What would any of you know about it? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I can see where this is going. Yeah, what would any of you know about it? 
Dad and I are the only people here who have done this work. I can do it, Dad. If you don't trust Magdalene to do the mural, to hell with a lot of you. <laughs> Klaus! If you don't trust her, you don't trust me. I'll never do any work for this council again. Mm. Alright, I say we let her. It doesn't look like we have much of a choice. Very well. Alright, Magdalene, you can do it. But you still need to talk to us about what you're doing, alright? Oh, I'll talk to you about it. And I'll just do whatever I want anyway. <laughs> uh, fine. But I'm taking Dad's ideas into account. Well, we'll figure it out. Thanks, Magdalene. Magdalene. Rest up, Klaus. I'll do my best, York. <laughs> well, blah, blah, blah. Magdalene, just a moment. Yes, what is it? Your father is lucid right now, but his injury is severe. His current demeanor is misleading. Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I like sassy pants, Magdalene. I know the injury is severe, Werner. I saw all the blood. Magdalene, there is damage to his brain. Uh, he may have a few weeks, maybe even a few months left. But he's not going to survive. Wow. Uh, dang, that must be a very different proposition in the 1500s, I imagine. Um, but let's, I mean, yeah, let's, can't we take him to see a surgeon? No, he can't be moved in this condition. In fact, he shouldn't move at all. Even if he could, I don't think the finest Italian surgeons would know how to deal with trauma like this. Uh, so he's just going to die? And there's nothing I can do about it. You can make him comfortable, and you can enjoy the time you have left. But time will run out before long. Jeez. It's brutal. But I guess that's, uh... That's the way of things, I guess, at that time. Uh, Dad needs to be able to see the mural in its finished form. So I better get to work. But I don't know how much time he has left. Werner said it could be a few months, or... God, protect him. I'll pick up where Dad left off. He wanted to paint the history of Tassian. From its earliest days to the revolt. I'll start with the earliest part of Tassian's history, the pagan tribes and the Romans. Then I'll move on to the founding of the Abbey and Tassian saints. After that, I should find a way to represent our recent history. Depicting the revolt is important to Dad. People in Tassian might know some of the town's history, but not all of it. Dad said the library in Kirsau had those records. He was going to write to the last prioress to see if she had any information. Ooh, Illuminata? I should write to her now while I'm thinking about it. Okay, sure. All right, where to begin? Dad told me the last prioress at Kirsau knew something about the old history of Tassin. He said he became the abbot... He said she became the abbess of a convent in Bologna. Mother Illuminata? Yes, at Santa Margarita. I should write to her. Okay. Whoa. Mother Illuminata, abbess of Santa Margarita, formed the prize of the Uh, This top one seems right. I mean, she was technically a librarian, but I think prioress is more... Official. Mother Illuminata, abbess of Santa Margarita, formerly prioress of Kearsau Abbey. Um. Yeah, let's do this. My name is Magdalene Druckerin. I do not believe we've ever met, as I was very young when you left Kearsau. You were acquainted with my father. He bought many books from the library before that terrible fire consumed the place. I am writing because my father and I are creating a mural in the Tassin Rathaus. 
it's going to tell the history of our community and of Kearsau as well. We have only legends and folklore, since of course all of the Kearsau's books were destroyed in the fire. I was hoping you could tell us something about the early history of the town when the Romans were here. If you know anything about the early history of the Abbey itself, we would also be glad to hear of it. We would appreciate any help you could give us, and we hope you are well. Uh, Father always spoke highly. How do you care for the sisters? How do you care for the library and its books? Uh, personal question? I think I'm going to go with this, because that's what I'm interested in, and hopefully... We can connect on that level. <laughs> My father always spoke highly of you, especially how you cared for the library and its books. Uh, yep, God bless you. Just, uh, you know, make sure that we're speaking the same language. <laughs> Magdalene. Okay. <laughs> Cut to later. Wow, that took a whole day. <sighs> if I want to finish the mural before Christmas, I should start planning tomorrow. <laughs> I should head to bed and get as much rest as I can. Wow. All right. Are we not going to investigate a murder? <laughs> Is it pentiment at all if we're not investigating a murder? How you doing, Dad? Magdalene. Hey, Dad. How are you feeling? Can I get you anything? No, no, I'm fine. You go on. All right, I'll come back and check on you later. All right. I gotta go. I got stuff to do. And by stuff to do, I mean, I guess, go to bed? Well, let's see if... Oh, I can't even leave the house, so going to bed is literally my only option. <sighs> it's late. I should get some rest soon. Man, the days are just flying by here. I guess go to sleep. <laughs> Kick off them shoes. Hopefully nothing terrible happens. I'm not going to ever want to go to sleep again. Cool. Whoa. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. The, the, the next month. Ah, Mistress Druckerin, I have a few letters here addressed to you. Okay, cool. I guess uh, it takes takes about that long to get mail. I assume this is from Illuminata and maybe uh, Esther. Take care now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Walk off. Cool. <laughs> Mother Illuminata wrote back to me. I hope her response helps me paint the mural. Nice. Oh, this is cool. Mistress Druckerin, thank you for your letter. I hope this reply finds you and your father in good health. I remember you both as your father would carry you between the rows of our library in its final years. I also remember your late mother and brother. God keep their souls. Yep. God, not having Bert around is a real, a real bummer. While we did have some books that discussed Tassine's past, it's likely they were as mythological as what your neighbors believe. That said, I remember one of the peasants, Tillman Kreutzer, read about the history of the town. Red, I know he died during the revolt, but perhaps his family knows some of what he learned. Is that Till, I assume? I should also say that it's not true that all of Kearsau's books were destroyed by the fire. Oh? Andreas Mahler managed to save some from the flames. God rest his soul. In the aftermath of that terrible night, cataloging and preserving the surviving books was not at the top of any of our minds. Even so, this topic has stirred a memory within me. Several years before the fire, there was a death at Kearsau, the murder of Baron Rothvogel. He had mentioned something about finding a copy of Historia Tassiae, a comprehensive chronicle of your home. I had forgotten about it until now because the murder dominated all of our thoughts in the days and weeks that followed. You're sa same. I'd forgotten all about it. 
It troubles me now because I recall that the late Father Matthias was also reading a copy of Historia Tassiae shortly before he died. Oh? We never accounted for either book's whereabouts. They may have been hidden somewhere in the library and went up with everything else. Perhaps Lucky Steinauer took it from the Baron after the murder. Though given the stonemason's motive, it seems unlikely. Then again, only God knows what he did and why he did it. Miklaus Haberel? The Baron's manservant believed it may have been stolen by the town thief Martin Bauer. Oh, I understand he was killed by the mob along with the miller on the night of the fire. Uh, maybe. If he did steal the book, he took its whereabouts to his grave. If any of his family remain in Tassin, perhaps you could ask them. Interesting. As for the history of the Abbey, I fear that was also lost in the blaze. However, as sacristan, Brother Matthew learned a great deal about the subject. I have not kept in contact with him, but I know that he is now the Archdeacon of Sion. Whoa. He is no longer a Benedictine, but uses his family name Fauc... Fauchig... Fauchigny? Fausigny. Sau... Sau? Saux? Whoa, okay. If you write to him soon, your letter may reach him before snow covers valet. Please convey my best wishes to your father. He was a good friend to the Abbey in its better years. Despite the violence that occurred, I hold no ill will to towards anyone from Tassin. I pray that you have been you have seen better days since that night, and that God forgives the many errors we made. God bless you as well. Mother Illuminata, Abbess of Santa Margarita. Cool. And a letter from Esther. Oh, Esther wrote me to me as well. Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, they're printers too. I forgot about that. My dear Magda. My parents were glad to hear from your father. Please tell him they wish to hear from him soon. Ah, speaking of printing, your ink was well received indeed. <laughs> I've made several prints with it. They look lovely on the wall. Eliza has taken to making his own... Oh, Elisha? Elijah has taken to making his own ink from scraps he found around the house after he saw yours. Mother was furious when he spent several fennings trying to find lapis at the market. <laughs> she sent him scrubbing the floors for it. Took him three days. I'm glad you're keeping busy, even though it keeps you from visiting. Father says we'll have room whenever you decide to make an appearance. <laughs> Though, really, if you don't plan to stay in Tassin, you ought to come sooner rather than later. There are plenty of beautiful young Christian men around town, printers and academics alike. <laughs> or maybe something else. You'd have your pick. Prague is a good city for me as well. Before the expulsion, there was a handsome man at synagogue, Simond. Simond? Simond? who caught my eye. His father's a merchant, and he's a doctor. He went to the University of Padua. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'd quite like to marry him, if I could find him again. Oh, man. Anyway, I think you'd have been... You'd have even better luck than me. The boys would swoon at a beautiful blonde artist from the Alps. <laughs> Please keep us abreast of your father's mural. We'll have to come see it when it's finished. Boy, I hope any of that happens. Blessings, El Esther, not Eliza. <laughs> Elijah is her brother, I guess. I'll have to write Esther back tonight. I should head home and check on Dad. Well, he's still kicking, I guess. That's good news. Hey, Dad, how are you feeling? Ah, uh, Magdalene. Sitting upright is still a struggle, I'm afraid. The dizziness makes my stomach turn, so I'd rather not eat at the moment. Are you sure? I can bring up something light, like milk or milk or broth. No, no, I can't stomach anything just yet. It's been it's been like a week and a half or something, hasn't it? But tell me, where are you off to? I need to get started on the first part of the mural today, the old history. Mother Illuminata didn't know much about Tassian's early history, but she did give me a few places to start. 
I'm going to ask Black Till if his grandfather told him any stories. Illuminata said she used to, he used to read about the Romans. Mother Illuminata, Magdalene. Oh, what did I say? Mother, uh, did I not say mother? Oh, I thought she did. Right, yes, Mother Illuminata. Did I say sister, maybe? Young Kreutzer has mentioned those tales from time to time, yes. He comes by to borrow books now and then. Usually when he's found some interesting old ruin out in the fields. You might ask him about that. Ill Peter's always harumphed about how no one paid attention to the old ways anymore, too. I'm sure he'll have some stories to tell. He'll have some stories to tell about old Tassing. You might stop to talk to him. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I didn't think of that. Thanks, Dad. Of course, Magda. It's nice to feel useful, even if I am stuck here in bed. Nonsense. I'm just glad you're awake. You might talk to Smokey, too. Oh? The old charcoal burners seems to know more about what's in the woods around the town than anyone else. That, and he's a known gossip. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's always been kind to me when I chat with him. I'm certain he'll know something about the ruins. You may hear something worth your while, at any rate. I'll go talk to him. Got a lot of people to talk to. What about the ruins or the mines? I can't just use books and stories alone. I want to explore whatever is left over from the Romans and before. The salt mine and Roman ruins are the oldest part of Tassine, so it only makes sense to see what they left behind. Ah, you take after your mother. She was always thorough in her research. You always said that's what good artists do, Dad. Be careful, all right? I know the twins mess around near the salt mine, but I don't want you getting hurt. I don't know why Yorg doesn't keep them in line. Always making trouble, those two. I assume Apollo and Artemis? Uh, <laughs> at least Artemis actually knows how to read. I don't think Apollo can even spell his name. <laughs> uh, yeah, why not? At least Artemis actually knows how to read. I don't think Apollo can even spell his name. The boy struggles with his letters, Magdalene. Don't shame him for it. Not everyone is a printer's daughter. <laughs> Don't forget your other chores while you're running around town, all right? We still have a household to run. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll get everything done. That's my girl. I better get going if I want to do all that today. I'll see you later, Dad. Good luck, Magdalene. Very cool. Okay, well, we have a lot to do, I think. Um that may or may not include or lead up to painting a giant mural. But uh, we have a lot of people to talk to, uh, a lot of information to gather. I don't know if we're going to be solving a murder as Magdalene. Maybe this more of a tell the tale, but we might maybe solve the murders of Rothvogel and who was the other person? <laughs> Otto. Um, while we're at it just because we're probably going to be digging up a lot of information about the town. And so we might actually get to that. Who knows? So maybe we will succeed where Andreas definitely failed and uh, learn a little bit about Tassin's history in the process. But I think we'll have to do that next episode. Thank you so much for joining me. When I come back with more Pentiment, we will start questioning people around town and figure out if we can't find the next step. I don't know if we'll have... I don't know if it's... I don't know. We'll just have to see. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Can't wait to see you again. Have a good one. Till next time. Okay, bye. Thank you again for watching the video. If you'd like to see more from me, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. I'd also very much love to hear from you down in the comments below.